it back to our other guests. But I want to say this to you um, um, as a person who's been witness and been a part of. I grew up, uh, my mother was uh, involved with domestic situations with my father. So as a child, I bear witness to it. So this is what I will say that I learned. And I learned this from God. I didn't learn this from a man. People only can treat you how you allow them to. Mm. So the way that you can train a person how to treat you is only what you allow to happen to you. So self-love is what I want us to learn to practice. I want you to learn that you're valuable as a man. It doesn't have anything to do with your color. It has something to do with your soul, your spirit. You're a valuable person. Yes. You have to know that you're valuable. Once you understand that value, don't ever let no one devalue you again. See, the thing is, if you don't know your worth, then people will try to put you on sale. Yes. And so what happens is they'll come in your life and try you, is what we call it. They'll make attempts to show you how they're going to treat you. Your job is to say, er, hell no, that's not what we do. I love myself. This is called a boundary. We can't do that. So then you won't get to two, three, or four anymore. Yeah. So we can't allow that to ever happen in your life or no one else's life. So when you get in touch with someone, the way that you can know they love you is the way they treat you, not what they tell you. And so when they put their hands on you that one time, they just showed you that this is what they're trying to get you to be trained for. So you say, no, no, I'm not even going to have to put my hands on you because I'm going to put your ass out and you have to go. We don't have to get to the baby stage or nothing because you're out of here. And that way, when a person enters your life again, they'll learn how to treat you on the first week because the moment they step out of pocket, it's a no. And so I want everybody to know that the way you get people to understand how to treat you is by the things that you accept. And the only way you can accept things by putting boundaries up is self-love, yes. self-love, self-worth. Yeah. Know your worth. They'll put you on sale. I appreciate you guys' honesty. It takes a lot of courage to come on um, to say these things to uh, the world. It, it takes a lot of strength to get past these things. So I wish you guys well. Um, and I just want to say practice self-love. Look at yourself every day and say, I am valuable. I am important. I'm worthy of life. And so when everybody comes in your circle, they have to get that same understanding or not. Nah. Um, before we let you go, Megan, um, I see that you tried to you you tried to leave three times. I just want you to wrap things up and let us know. Did you leave and, and did you finally leave and you're not back with him? And also share the I'll share it as well. There's a domestic violence hotline that Megan provided, but I just want to wrap things up and let people know where you are right now. And then we've got to get to a commercial break. So left him, <laughs> haven't talked to him, seen him, have no idea what he's doing with his life. I could care less um, or I could not care less. Um, so I've been away from him for a year, which is like super exciting. Um, but what I want to say, just kind of everybody out there, if you're in an abusive relationship screen. or you think that you are, you probably are. And um, you should definitely reach out to the domestic violence hotline because they're the ones that helped me and a lot of it that was happening to me, I didn't realize it was abuse. So without them, I could have still been in that situation. So definitely reach out to them and accept reality for what it is. If it's been happening, it's not gonna change. If they put your hand, put their hands on you one time, it's gonna happen again and abuse is a choice. So just like Stan said, practice self-love and don't let anybody treat you the way you wouldn't treat them. Oh, thank you Well, both. I love your courage, very strong. Very, I, I love what you show. And um, LaQuinn, I, I wish you the best and I don't want you to ever put yourself in that position again. I've had that happen to me. I've been on both sides of the fence. Unfortunately, uh, I grew up and watched that situation, and so sometimes it becomes you. So I, I learned how to be treated based on how I would allow. It's called boundaries. When you have self-love, you have to set those boundaries. And it's tough sometimes because you want that person, yeah. but they also have to want you in the right way. And I appreciate both of you so much for joining our show. And LaQuinn, again, like we're going to catch up with you again later uh, to follow your musical journey. And until then, Megan and LaQuinn, I hope you both continue to watch Spotlight Over the City. Tell all your family and friends about us. It's a movement. And again, we applaud your strength. Yes. Thank you both so very much. So coming up after this, coming up next after the commercial break, we...